obviously they do games that go the way you want it to, but that was pretty much across the board. Team. What do you guys do to move on? Well, you got to learn from it or else it's, wa it's wasted time. And uh, time is a precious commodity and we don't have time to waste. So you got to learn from it and uh, learn what learn what we did and what we didn't do. And uh, and like I said, turn the page and move forward and use all the lessons that we learned last week to help us this week. This is a tremendous tempo offense in the phase. They go 90 miles an hour as fast as they ever Right. Well, you know, this, this offense just wasn't invented. The no huddles, the up tempo's been around, but this is ultra fast. So uh, we do some things in practice where it's just get the call, sprint to the next formation, get the call, line up, take a couple steps, blow the whistle, sprint to the next formation, get the call uh, to try and create chaos and try and create that tempo and fatigue that, uh, that this offense forces you to try and uh, to overcome. How much of a uh, challenge is it to substitute in that type of offense? It's a huge, you, you can't substitute because if they catch a subbing, then they'll get back over the ball and you'll get caught with either out of position or too many men on the field. So, uh, you know, you've got to pick and choose when you're going to, but you, if, if you get caught with it, uh, trying to go from one personnel grouping to another, that's when you get penalties or you give up explosive plays because you're not lined up. Does that reality change your game planning? Um, you know we are who we are, um, but yeah, you've got to you've got to have a plan for it. You can't just go and think, well, hey, when a guy looks like he's winded, we might get him out. That's not going to occur. So it changes your preparation and your in your plan. Yeah, it does.